Welcome back, everybody. January 17th marks 131 years since the overthrow of the Hawaiian Kingdom. The annual Onipa'a Peace March commemorates Queen Lilio Kulani's forced removal from the throne. And joining us now is Jonah Cummings and Liko Lehua Kavanting of the Queen's Court. Welcome, guys. Hi. Hello. 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 So um, tell us first, I know I heard that you have been part of the court for several years before. Yes, Tell I us have. about the experience and what it means to you. Um, it, be, it begins with acknowledging our history and our cultural practices, and it brings together a unity within our community, the Native Hawaiian community, to not forget, not forget where we have come from and what we have been through and what our kiki should know. Mm -hmm. And Jonah, what about you? What, what does this day in March mean to you? It means a lot of um, trying to remember and taking place what happened to our queen on 31 years ago. It always brings tears to my eyes just to know what happened to her and the sacrifice that she has done to yield her powers just so my kupunas, my grandparents and all that could be alive today to produce me and all the younger generations to come and all that. So it's very significant for me personally Mm -hmm. about this and you know it, we remember and reflect especially with what's happening in the world today where do you think um, we are in the terms of the mindset of the sovereignty of Hawaii unity in unified fashion um, a lot more of our community members are focusing on building our community our community bond our community relationship um, knowing that we won't be able to move forward until we stand together and believe in, every, in the things that we do, take pride in the things that we do to build our community because that's the only way we're going to survive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Jonah, tell us a little bit about the event, the actual Peace March for folks that may not know that much about it. We see it and it's beautiful and so reverent, but what is it about? Sure, actually I'll let Liko take this okay, over because she was practicing. She she did her homework more than I did. I just <laughs> wing it on right now. <laughs> okay, so yeah. our so when we first started, um, of course it was about a revitalization. It came from a dream um, from a family, the Kepelino Moa and Eli family, mm -hmm. and it was just a bunch of family members that said, "Hey." No one's, no one's acknowledging this day. No one is um, doing anything on this day. So I said, let's go, let's go to the crypt. Let's go give lays and our prayers and blessings and go honor our queen and just walk down to the palace and have a lunch at the palace. And that first year, maybe 20 people showed up. Everyone had soy chicken and rice and just <laughs> enjoyed the day. And then the next year came People came and they said, hey, we heard what you guys are doing. And even I showed up the next year. And from there, it was like, it just grew. We're gonna, it it just grew. grew. It just yeah. grew mm -hmm. immensely. Mm -hmm. So this year, this year, we are thinking our expected participant count is about 6,000. Wow. And of course, we have room for way more. We also have yes. kupuna trolleys. Um, we have. We About have 40, 40, 40? I believe, um, 20, 20 schools from around the Copa Aina. 20 schools, yes, and they, we wanted to honor them because our students, the Keiki, the children, they are just working yeah. so hard on, on the mele that was taught by Kumu Kavai Kapu Hewitt. Mm -hmm. And um, they are so excited to be able to perform on the palace grounds. That's so, amazing. It's again yes. sharing with the future generations. Well, we're yes. running out of time, but I just wanted to say, just real quickly, what is the legacy of our, of our queen and what can we learn from that day? How to stand as one, as one lahui, and never give up. Once, once you give up on things, then, you know, it's like, for what, you know? So just never give up on you guys' belief and educate you guys self of the truth that really happened. Thank you so much Thank for coming on the show so and reminding us about that. Us. Mahalo.